now we can start. Hmm. Uh, hello! Uh, this is Mrs. Smart says a meerkat. And I think I'm a meerkat. Maybe I'm a sloth. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, we're going to start applying a light. What kind? What? A light uh, layer of pastel to our still life. Ooh. <laughs> hey guys, um, we're ready to get our layer of pastel on and I don't want to have like a rainbow of vomit all over this thing. I want to have some sense of organization. So I have some cool colors, I mean warm colors, and I got some cool colors, greens, okay. And I'm gonna just kinda keep my, my cool colors in the background and my warm colors on my uh, flowers. So remember, this is just a base layer. So we don't wanna have tons of pastel. So I'm just gonna lightly lay in, oops, whoops, um, some color and Again, this is just my base, so I don't want to get it on insanely heavy. That's not what we're doing. So I'm starting with my lighter colors. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Okay, then I'm going to go to my next darkest color. Okay. And now I'm gonna go to my next darkest color. And I'm gripping this on the side so that I can put it on pretty quick. I don't need to have it, you know, I don't need to be here longer than I need to. And I think I'm gonna make my stems pink. I'll just get those in there. I think I need a really good orange. Maybe, yeah. Okay, then the next step is to just blend it. So blending all of it. So this is my base layer like we talked about in our technique sheet. Okay, there we go. Work is never done. All right, I'll do some more detail. Okay, so now I have gotten um, my base layer on and I'm ready to start adding detail. So remember, this is the adding texture part, adding value part, because this is not done at all. This is only halfway done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I think I'm going to add a little white. To brighten this okay and you can see that I'm not putting my white down I'm just like putting white in areas 
because when you put down, pick up, put down, pick up, it just takes more time. And this is just a little trick on how to get going a little quicker. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a clean finger, gently, gently blend. I'm gonna do my blending thing first, and then after I blend, then I'm gonna start doing like some feathering and some cross hatching because um, you don't wanna blend that stuff. Otherwise you lose it, and that's just a waste of time. And you can see your glue lines are, are doing their job of supporting your work and not letting it just become a big mess of yuck. Okay, so I need to get rid of some of that. Okay, so now I got some lightness in it. Now I want to, well, I suppose I need some lightness in my background too. Do a little lightness. Okay. Blend that in. Okay. Now I got more lightness in it. Now I want to get some texture. So I think what I'm going to do is take this red. Clean off and, and then go back to my packet and get to work because I know I got stuff in there to do. Woo! 